A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. Mountain Home Village, California. Several days of triple-digit temperatures have stoked a wildfire in Southern California that burned so hot it created its own thunderstorm-like weather systems. But firefighters are hoping to gain the upper hand as cooler weather is expected to move into the area after Tuesday. The line fire has forced at least 6,000 people to evacuate and threatened thousands of home and commercial structures as it burns along the edge of the San Bernardino National Forest, about 65 miles, 105 kilometers, east of Los Angeles. Firefighters have been working in steep terrain and challenging conditions and temperatures above 100 degrees, 37.7 Celsius, limiting their ability to control the blaze which has created the type of clouds that can spawn gusty winds and lightning strikes. We're dealing with triple-digit temperatures and hard-to-reach steep areas where there has not been fire in decades, or in recorded history, so all that vegetation has led to significant fuel loads, Cal Fire spokesperson Rick Carhart said. State fire managers said three firefighters have been injured since the blaze was reported Thursday. An excessive heat warning issued for the Los Angeles area will expire Tuesday night before giving way to cooler high temperatures. As of Monday evening, the blaze had charred about 37 square miles, 96 square kilometers, of grass and brush and blanketed the area with a thick cloud of dark smoke. It was 5% contained. The blaze and one of many wildfires burning across the West, including in Idaho, Oregon, and Nevada where about 20,000 people have had to flee a fire outside Reno. The line fire is one of the most dangerous of many in California, including one north of San Francisco that destroyed more than two dozen homes and another that broke out in Orange County southeast of Los Angeles. Stephen Richardson, whose 1930s wooden cabin in the unincorporated community of Mountain Home Village is in the path of the line fire, said Monday that he installed more fire-resistant siding to the structure and trimmed some branches away from it. That's about all I can do, aside from standing on the top of the roof with my garden hose. But that's not in the plans, Richardson said. Southern California mountain community residents like Richardson are mulling whether to stay and protect their homes or leave. Richardson, a math and physics instructor at Platt College, said he planned to meet with his students online before deciding whether to leave the community where he was born and raised. If we're seeing flames and the air gets bad, we're probably going to head down, he said. Mar Rodriguez, a spokesperson with the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department, which issues evacuation orders, said nearly 5,000 homes fell under the existing orders and nearly 17,000 more were under evacuation warnings. Evacuations were ordered Saturday evening for Running Springs, Arrowbear Lake, areas east of Highway 330 and other regions. Running Springs resident Stephen Michael King said he had planned to stay to fight the fire and help his neighbors until Sunday morning, when the fire escalated. He had prepped his house to prevent fire damage, but decided to leave out of fear smoke could keep him from finding a way out later. The affected area is near small mountain towns in the San Bernardino National Forest where Southern California residents ski in the winter and mountain bike in the summer. Running Springs is on the route to the popular ski resort town of Big Bear. Meanwhile, firefighters used bulldozers, helicopters, and airplanes Monday to control another rapidly spreading blaze that broke out near a remote-controlled airplane airport in Orange County. The fire spread to about 3 square miles, 8 square kilometers, in only a few hours. Another blaze sparked in Southern California's Angeles National Forest, north of the city of Glendora, in Los Angeles County, was about 2 square miles, 5 square kilometers, and 0% contained Monday evening. The Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department ordered visitors at a campground and residents of an adjacent river community to evacuate, the U.S. Forest Service said. And in Northern California, a fire measuring less than a square mile, 2.6 square kilometers, started Sunday and burned at least 30 homes and commercial buildings and destroyed 40 to 50 vehicles in Clear Lake City, 110 miles, 117 kilometers, north of San Francisco, officials said. Roughly 4,000 people were forced to evacuate by the Boyles Fire, which was about 40% contained Monday afternoon. In Nevada, the uncontained Davis Fire burning about 20 miles, 32.2 kilometers, outside Reno grew to about 10 square miles, 26 square kilometers, after igniting Sunday afternoon. It originated in the Davis Creek Regional Park in the Washoe Valley and was burning in heavy timber and brush, firefighters said. 
An emergency declaration issued for Washoe County by Governor Joe Lombardo on Sunday noted that about 20,000 people were evacuated from neighboring communities. The fires in California and Nevada are a stark reminder of the ongoing threat posed by wildfires in the western United States, where dry conditions and high temperatures create a conducive environment for fires to spread rapidly. Officials are urging residents in affected areas to stay vigilant, follow evacuation orders, and prioritize their safety and well-being. The firefighting efforts are ongoing, with crews working tirelessly to contain the blazes and protect lives and property. As the situation continues to evolve, authorities are closely monitoring the fires and providing updates to the public. The impact of the wildfires on communities, wildlife, and the environment is significant underscoring the importance of preparedness, resilience, and cooperation in responding to natural disasters. The resilience and bravery of firefighters, first responders, and community members facing these challenges are commendable, as they work together to mitigate the impact of the fires and ensure the safety and security of all those affected. The coming days will be critical in determining the progress of the firefighting efforts and the extent of the damage caused by the wildfires. As communities grapple with the aftermath of the blazes, support and assistance from local, state, and federal agencies will be crucial in facilitating recovery and rebuilding efforts. The resilience and unity displayed in times of crisis are a testament to the strength and spirit of the affected communities, who stand together in the face of adversity and work towards a common goal of restoration and renewal. The wildfires serve as a sobering reminder of the ever-present threat of natural disasters and the importance of preparedness, collaboration, and resilience in safeguarding lives and property. As the firefighting operations continue and the impacted areas assess the damage and plan for recovery, the collective efforts of all stakeholders will be instrumental in navigating the challenges ahead and rebuilding stronger and more resilient communities. The stories of courage, sacrifice, and solidarity emerging from the wildfires highlight the indomitable human spirit and the capacity to overcome adversity, even in the most challenging circumstances. As the affected regions come together to support one another and rebuild in the wake of the devastation, the lessons learned from this experience will shape future strategies for disaster response and community resilience. The wildfires serve as a stark reminder of the fragility of our ecosystems and the urgent need to address climate change and environmental degradation to mitigate the risk of future disasters. The resilience and determination of individuals and communities impacted by the wildfires inspire hope and solidarity in the face of adversity, demonstrating the power of unity and collaboration in times of crisis. The road to recovery will be long and challenging, but with unwavering resolve and collective action, the affected areas will emerge stronger and more prepared to face whatever challenges lie ahead. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.